axis and today I just finished up the wall that is in this eastern greenhouse and I started work on the radon uh, vent over here. The reason I was waiting for the wall to be done before I did the radon vent is because uh, with the radon vent there as you can see kind of you know makes it get more difficult to work on the wall. So got that finished up. Uh, the last electrical outlet for the entire house, uh, got it in right over there, that's going to be the one that powers the radon vent. Uh, and this is going to slide right in on top of the radon vent, uh, so it'll blow air up through here, through this 90 degree bend, and out that back wall. I'm going to be using a, uh, uh, I guess, like a little more than a 4 inch hole saw to, uh, to get the hole through over there. I wanted to mention one uh, uh, attribute on this system. It's this thing called a fan guard. It is a kind of like a coupling, and it has like a um, kind of a, a water catching ring on the inside. So that I don't think it's that big of a deal for this system because I'm in the greenhouse uh, and there's there's very little pipe above where the fan is uh, before it gets outside. But if you had a lot of pipe and it was outside and it was getting cold, you could because the air going up through it could be uh, have a lot of humidity in it. You could get condensation on the inside, which would then drip down and get into your fan, you know, and get your fan wet, which you know is probably not a good thing. So it's got this little drip guard where it collects the water and then uh, puts it out through this little. Uh, spigot thing and then there's a little rubber hose used to either just drip it out or you can kind of jump around the fan and have it go back down on the other side. So uh, I'm getting close to being able to do that. This thing is, uh, it's, uh, I want to let it dry a little bit more. It's been sitting for about 15 minutes and um, that's okay to touch it, but um, yeah, I want to let that uh, solidify up a little more. Let's go outside because I've been working also while I was doing the interior wall boards, whenever I get a piece of scrap, I was throwing it up out here and I just want to kind of give you a sense of how how all this is going. Uh, as you can see, we are maybe about a third of the way across the front of the house here. Uh, only because it's like, you know, every day maybe I put up like, you know, two boards, three boards, four boards, because it was like just whenever I happened to get a piece of scrap that was perfect for it. Now that I'm done in there, I'm just going to start cutting up boards and putting them on here and it should go pretty quickly. I'm going to start between the windows, uh, these pieces right here. Uh, you know, they're a little bit different than everything else, uh, so I'm just getting measurements on those. I'm going to rip them down on the table saw, get the last, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five of those in, and then just start going across the front of the house here. Really getting to the end here. Have not heard back from the plumber yet. The uh, electrician was supposed to be here this, uh, this week. Today, at the time of recording, is Friday. He never showed up. I'm not going to fault him for that. I mean, we've been pretty laid back about the whole thing, and he's treated me really great. Uh, but, you know, it's just another reminder. Whenever you're working with contractors, uh, don't take for granted that they're absolutely going to show up when they say they're going to show up, uh, because, you know, it oftentimes doesn't happen, even with the best of them. You know, uh, my electrician, Really happy with his work so far, but he said he was going to be there this week and he never showed up. So um, we're getting there though. Plumber show up one day, done. Electrician shows up one day, done. Get those handrails in, and then once the outside's all sheathed, so I got the wires covered. That's kind of it. Thanks for watching.